Welcome back. Our next guest here, Kate Miller, is the co-founder of Awesome Indie. She's teaching us a little something that you could probably learn from their organization. We're making some slime. Yes. But for now, can you tell us a little bit more about Awesome Indie? Sure. So Awesome Indie is a small, volunteer-led, nonprofit organization. We are... Um, Pretty vibrant in the community, serving kids with autism, specifically in foster care and kinship care, but we okay. serve all families of kiddos with autism and their caregivers. What was the inspiration behind founding this sure. organization? That's yeah. a great question. So I have a son with autism. He's my main inspiration. I also, my mother passed away in 2016 and she served kiddos and adults with special needs her whole life and was a CASA. And so yeah. she's really instilled a lot of those values in me and I'm just trying to pay it forward. That's carry great. It on. I love it. Yeah, yeah. I know Thank this you. is going to be a great event coming up. What can people expect? Yeah, so one of the things we offer are sensory friendly experiences for families and kiddos and that will be our Fall Fest which is coming up soon. Piney Acres, uh, September 10th, and again, it's a sensory friendly experience for kids with autism, their families, and any families, all their siblings, to come out, enjoy all the fall festivities before they open for the season. And of course, I'll be there with my son, and we'll just be taking it all in, the hay rides, the, all the fall fun. So yeah. we're looking forward to it, for sure. That's so fun. Yeah. Okay, so speaking of sensory friendly, mm -hmm. can you teach us how to make some slime? I'm gonna do my best. Okay. Um, you definitely need adult supervision, so I'll be Great. the adult here, yes. and we uh, need adult. Can we get an adult? Yeah. Get an so uh, <laughs> lots of little things that go into making slime and making sure it's like um, safe for the kiddos, but yeah. they definitely need adult supervision. So we start with a little water and then we're mixing in. Now don't be scared, but this is Elmer's glue. Okay. okay. Mix in a little bit of glue. Oh, bringing me back. I know, yeah. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then just a tiny bit of this baking soda gives okay. it some, I don't know, some, some chemistry's happening there. Something's happening. I'll yep. be honest yep. be like, I so don't know. So some chemistry's Something. going on there. So then we're just mixing this and it looks really watery and you're like, oh, this looks like a lot of fun and kids. <laughs> But it gets better because we add shaving cream, and usually this is when the kiddos get really excited because oh, they're like, oh, yeah. shaving cream, but... And it smells good. Well, it's it true. Good. This yeah. is the luxury luxury shaving cream, so <laughs> we just add a little bit in there. They say do about two cups. This is my two cups. Okay. That looks right. I think it's I good. Think it good. I think we're good. Uh, so you, normally this is a kiddo doing this, not an adult, but yeah. it's just fun for anybody of all ages. But you mix it in here just like this okay. and start to kind of... They say you need it, but I'm using a spoon because my hands are precious. <laughs> Um, and so, so I'm just kind of you're right kneading this, yeah. and it starts to uh, form a little bit of like a foamy slime. You like you ooh, fold it in. Thank you. Yeah. Um, oh, here's the next funny. fun part. You get to pick a color. Yeah. I brought blue because well. Awesome Perfect. indie blue. Yep. Um, so the kiddos can do like a color. They can do multiple colors, and that part's always fun. But they yep. stick some color in there. Cool. And then last but certainly not least, and this is like the important part, is the, this is going to sound weird, but it's contact solution. Yeah, this is, is the contact solution? It's a little strange. Our kids have made slime at home and they're like, do we have any contact stuff? I'm like, why do you need and that? You do it does need something. It. I don't it know does what it does. Something. Again, back to the chemistry thing. Some we need Butler to come there. back out here and give yeah. us some tips. Where's um, Blue? Science. Science. So once you put the contact solution in, it gets from, goes from this like goopy stuff. Yeah. Two. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, by the magic of TV. Yeah, you put that in and you mix it around. And now I'm gonna put my hands in there because why not? Yeah. You get this goopy, fun, oh, foamy, sure. sensory yeah. love. Kids love to play with it, and they love to stick little items in there, beads or whatever yeah. you may have, glitter. I. I'm not that brave, yeah. but you can even put glitter in there and then kiddos can play brave. with it and you can even store it in like a little container and they can come back to it later That's fun. and play so with it later. Fun. So, so I want to know, how can people volunteer with Awesome Indie? I'm sure you're always in need of yeah. volunteers. We're always in need of volunteers and advocates for our cause. Um, you can follow us on Facebook, uh, go to our website, and uh, we're also just started an Awesome Moms group. So if okay. you're a mom and you have a kiddo with autism, you can check out our website and join our lovely community of awesome families. That's great. That's well, so thank you for fun. what you're doing. Thank you. That's Guys, awesome indie a u s o m e indie dot org. You can give a call as well right there. Thanks yeah, so much. That was really fun. Out the thanks. fall festival yeah, thanks, coming up. Thank you. Yeah. This was awesome. Thanks Thank for having you. us. You bet. Well, it's time to check back in with local painter King Rhodes, whose work you can see at the upcoming Butter Art Fair. That's right. He's been doing a portrait uh, yes, of our friend Deanna Craig, Deanna. who a fellow, a fellow artist and the director of Butter. Oh, this is looking beautiful. King, we're happy King. to have you back on the show, man. So Thank you so King, much for how being are here. You? I'm blessed. Thank you yeah. so much for having me. Tell us more about this piece that you've been working on. Yeah, so like I was saying earlier, Diana is the Butter Art Fair director this year. And this is just a painting of her and all her radiant glory. Um, you will see all her efforts in Butter Fine Art Fair when you attend this weekend. Um, just knowing uh, Diana over the last few years and her journey through her career and seeing her now, 
doing everything that she's doing, making such a huge impact. I'm yeah. just very grateful and I was inspired to paint this. Well, you're making a great impact with your art as yes. well. If people want to support your art, if they want to maybe buy some artwork or see you around town, where can they do that? Well, they can find new work of mine at the Butter Art Fair this week. Great. You can also find work of mine at Newfields, the IMA, also the Children's Museum. I also will have work in Saks Fifth following Butter. Congrats. And um, wow. also at the Gamebridge Fieldhouse in the Key Bank Suites. King, you uh, have yeah. art everywhere, man. Everywhere. That's amazing. Very grateful. Like yes. everywhere you could go, Congrats. his artwork is there. So <laughs> check it out. And check out Butter, like King was saying. There's going to be so many amazing artists like King there to support and see their work and throughout the show again we're gonna have another check-in just to see how you've worked on this piece of Deanna here. Yeah. Thank you so much. Go Thank check it out kingroads.com k-y-n-g roads.com and go check out Butter. Thanks King. Thank, Thank you. you. Still to come we're gonna tell you how you can meet Erica Strada and Larry Wilcox from the show Chips all while supporting a great cause and enjoying some great music. Stick around friends we're gonna be back in just a couple minutes go refill that coffee.